I want to bet money on that we won't be able to get the pound. You know what odds will get you? Fifty to one. But you can't use it. <laughs> and a hundred to one on that we will be using it. The biggest kind of rat dafty. Eh? Because it's see it's simple anyway, because if they did say well you can use it, we're still gonna use it any fucking way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So that's a certain. And, and a lot of people... Would you make it... Well, like a, currency? See the currencies that are out there? Do you not reckon it because you just make your own currency like Bitcoin? Call it the fucking... The JK nah. coin? No, no. <laughs> it's got to be a pound, isn't it? A fucking pound? Um, we'll get well, well, fucking okay. Coin. Right, okay. Fucking you can US have a Scottish thing then. Well, you, can have, you can have anything you want. Because money is only paper. It's your resources that tell you how much money you've got. You know what I mean? You can't eat fucking paper, right? You can't eat fucking can, oil or you can't you eat get, fucking whiskey. You get fucking but, steaming and you can get fucking... Hang on a minute. 90%... 90% of the stuff, like whiskey, for example, right, and fish, right, we don't sell that in pounds. We sell it in fucking euros and dollars. Especially the oil. All the oil is sold in dollars. Any tradable currency is a currency, but it's just that it's, it's the best interest of the two countries, Scotland and England, to use the pound sterling because it's going to stop all these transaction fees. And it is a, it is a sensible way. If you get a non-partisan uh, economist sit down, he, he doesn't vote no, he doesn't vote aye, he doesn't give a fuck, he'll tell you. But it's obvious that to use the same currency is the right thing today. But everybody knows that, right? But they are saying, oh, it's highly unlikely that it will happen. Right? Highly unlikely. Uh, that's, that's, that's political speak. Because then you could say, oh, you say that we are not going to get a use of that pound. So you're a lying bastard. And they go, like, no, no, I never said that. I said it was highly unlikely. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I bet you boys are getting fucking fed up with this political speak. We'll talk yeah? about the football then, you daft thing. Uh, I thought we were unlucky. We're fucking shite, mate. <laughs> Well, the first half they were shite. First half they were crap. We were good in the second half, but mind you, it was a different game again because they they knew they had the two goals to start. You know what I mean? The two second half. Start and a man advantage because of a corrupt fucking uh, referee. The red card was took out very quick, wasn't it? Did any of them get booked? I think one of them did. The big ref was believed he didn't do much. Hello, one two one two. Right, we've got a problem. I'm going to have to reboot the show. I'm going to have to stop it and reboot it. Fucking nightmare. Right, nightmare. No sound. It's back now. 
but uh, there's going to be a problem. I won't be able to, you won't be able to hear any more calls. Sounds back now, Chris, the sounds back, but I'm going to have to shut it down. Yeah, it's back, but there was a problem, and I can't continue this part. I'm going to have to shut it down. We'll play a soon. I know, I know, but I'll not be able to take any calls. There'll be no calls be able to make. Right, I'll phone Kieran back. Stay there. I'll see when I get him back. Are you on it now loud and clear? I know, but I don't know if you're clear. Can anybody... Aye, I can hear you clear. No, but I might hear if you're clear. You talk, right? You keep talking. Right. What were you saying? 71-1098-321. Shalom. (laughs) Why are you saying you're back? You're what? Can you hear me? Yeah, we're good, right. That's it. Can you hear me? Ah, you're working. I thought I was going to have to shut it down. Well done, you're there. We're good to go. I, I did right. go off right enough. What were you saying, aye? What were you saying? I'm saying, you know how what they were saying, uh, how they sign Griffiths? Griffiths? Or we Griffiths, are we? Aye. Aye. To put mums on seats. <laughs> to put mums on seats? Oh, aye. <laughs> oh, you don't get a day. Taxi for a fanny, right? <laughs> taxi. <laughs> taxi for a... You get your coat on. I'll get my coat. <laughs> get your coat. I don't know why I phoned you back. If I phoned you back for that, it's a fucking disaster. <laughs> I might as well shut the show down for that. Fucking <laughs> okay. Up your game. You better up your game here. Your political chat was good, but your jokes are out the window. All oh, right. Aye, aye. Aye, well, what else do you want? Are you thinking about this independence then, eh? You reckon that we might get it or we don't get it? Have you to put money on it today? What would you say? No. Uh, That's yeah, why, yeah. listen. Sadly. If, if I had to put money on it, if the vote was immoral, right? If, if the vote was immoral, right? I, I wish I could be close. There's too many negative people. I know, but, but thank God we've got the six months to get out their system. Uh, there's too many negatives. Too many negative people. <sighs> but, but listen, the, the Yes campaign are positive, you know what I mean? They're positive. They're negative, right? I know, they're, seemingly, they're, uh, they're doing it. They're dropping all these fucking anchors along the way, knowing that they're ready to be activated on the 18th. I mean, when people, right, they, they, they're going, what they're going to do, on the day people go to vote, you know that the campaign that they're going to run, on that day, it's, it's they're going to be getting the last people, you know, it's just on the fear, don't do it. Realize you're better, you're better to get, think of what you're going to be losing. And the, the most people buy from, with emotion, people don't buy on people people need emotion before they buy anything and they go for it. And the two biggest emotions and the biggest one is fear. The other one is desire. Right. What so about we'll go, pride? Pride. Ah but hold on, but the the one is desire. Is there gonna be enough desire made by the yes campaign for the people to want independence? We've got to create the desire. We've got to create a land of utopia that Scotland will be better. Scotland will be better without right. England. Scotland will be more prosperous. Scotland will be able to have a slush fund like Norway, where Britain wasted the oil instead of investing in it like Norway. So, but there's still no guarantee, but we've got to try to convince the people that what we've got just now is wrong, and it's a poor substitute for what it could be. And only then in to, to make that desire because see on that day see we don't we've got two, the two fights are the emotion of desire for people to want something and people to fear and see that fear one that's what all day we little negatives these little bombs that they're going to drop along the way because on that 18th they're just going to line every fucking fear up there to line it up so as everybody goes there shit 
we better stay where we are. So how can we better make it for people to desire what we need to do? Because Scotland has got a lot to offer. We just have to show it to the people how, how it can be better, no? Yeah, but I think that most people, or 99.9% of Scots, know that we are a rich country, full of resources and people, and also, I mean, do all sorts of things. But I'm, I'm sure that a lot of the no campaign are just butter Brits, and they want to stay in the union because they're no surrender unionists and all that. This is if this country just had the uh, one religion or no religion, it would be it would have been independent fucking years ago. <laughs> So that's why I worry. I mean, we've been quite I went to one of the other sites, you know, the uh, Rangers chat. Aye. They were speaking about uh, if, if they go, if they get to, if they go to Parkhead, right, for a final at the Scottish Cup, which I doubt they will. But if they did, they were all talking about everybody with Union Jack and big stain and Union banners and all that, and fuck the SNP and everything. You know what I mean? That mob. They, they don't even want to know what the end of it is. They, they just want to stay unionist. You know what I mean? They don't even want to know what the argument is. And they're so like, up again. They've got a whole block vote. We're up, we're up against a, that. That's right. Got, so you get a block vote, a fucking right. number that then, is never going to change. But they're, then, but, but they're in the mob. They are in the minority then, right? Well, but the same, they, no, they are in the minority as, as far as the voters are concerned, well, right? Well, but there's still, it's it's still a wee start for them. It's still a start for them, you know what I mean? It's a huge start for them, mate. That's it's mm. pro probably going to be the insurmountable start. That's going to be fucking... Because if they've got 20 or 30%, that's a key part. You, can, you can't say... If, if the Yes campaign, whatever they've got, if the Yes campaign lose it, but... But, but at less than what they've got, then they have been the deciding part. They have been the deciding part. So but they don't you, even support Scotland now. I know, but, but it doesn't matter. Right, see if they've There's got... There's a football team. No, but listen, see if they've got 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 percent of that vote, right? <laughs> then if we lose that, then that's because that even although they're a small minority, they swung it. Because the they, they, they I, 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 they could swing it. They could swing it. So, but there's they are block. honestly. There's no swing. There's a voting they, block. They, there, they're a the minority. Ah, but no, the, the biggest minority out there then, because they have got a huge block vote that can destroy all the good work. Right. All the yes, mm -hmm. all the yes. We get all the good people who say that and all and all thing me, but they're still not going to be enough to outman the people. As soon as they've got, they've got a huge, like you say, they've got a huge start. So whatever they start is twenty percent, then the disadvantage is right away. I do thirty percent. How many voters is it? It's three million, isn't it? Well, put it this way, right? See, when Thatcher had decimated Scotland with the poll tax, with the uh, zero MPs at the time, old Minty boys managed to get five Tory MPs on the election by nineteen. So, he, oh, yeah, so he, he, he managed to do that and okay, those five were spread all over the place but the block vote for different areas would be huge so they've got a huge block vote there mate and you, you can't dismiss it and it's, I know that, but it's going to be the deciding factor probably, sadly I'll make it closer I mean, if we didn't have them then it's going to be the white the yes would be favourite there you go, you, know, you, you know that uh, as well Oh, I know, I know that, but we have to try and overcome oh, the the sense in speaking to them. I mean, if they were to, if, if Cameron say, went to the Ibrox and says to them, look, I see if you vote no, I'll, I'll give you to it straight. I'm going to half all your wages, right? But at least you'll still be part of the United Kingdom and the Union. They would accept that. Here, then, here, here we go then. What mm -hmm. what could we offer them as a way for them to vote? We can't for offer them anything. You can't speak to them, honestly. You cannot speak oh, to them. Back. It's a bad thing. Still, I'll phone you back. It's 